Let me bring in Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. Senator, good to have you with us tonight. Good to be with you. Senator, do, do you think average Americans agree with the Koch brothers' ideology? I mean, did you th the, the Koch brothers sometimes uh, present their case as if this is really what America wants and we're going to make sure they get it. Well, Ed, to answer that question, people have got to know what the Koch brothers' ideology is. And this is what it is. In 1980, David Koch ran for vice president of the United States on the Libertarian Party. Here are some of the ideas that they espoused. Ending, abolishing Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Ending all forms of taxation. Ending funding for public education. Terminating the Environmental Protection Agency. Cutting back on virtually every program that helps low-income people. So do you think, does anybody think that most Americans think that it's a great idea to give more tax breaks for billionaires and millionaires at the same time as you decimate every single program that helps the elderly, the children, the middle class, working families, and low-income people? You know what, Ed? I think there are very few people who believe that makes sense. Well, if Americans don't wake up, these are the people who are going to be running the country. That's what I, I think consumers have to really come to grips with. And the numbers are the numbers. I started this broadcast saying you can't eat PR. There's always the number. It's always about the money. And the money is not in the pockets of the middle class right now. Senator, how disturbing is this report in the New York Times that we are no longer the strong economic engine of the middle class that this country used to have, and it's now the Canadians. And it is, I mean, frankly, not a great shock to me. I mean, this is something we've been studying for years. Uh, the reality is that the middle class of this country, that was once the beacon, the, the envy of the entire world, that middle class is gone. We have more people living in poverty in America now than ever before. And 95% of all new income is going to the top 1%. So that gap, it's not even the 1%, Ed. We're talking about the one-tenth of 1%, yeah. the Koch brothers that you've been talking about. Do you know what their wealth increased in the last year alone? By $12 billion. And we got 20% of our kids living in poverty. So this movement toward an oligarchy is going as, as, as fast as one could imagine. And if people do not come out and vote and take on the Koch brothers and the puppets that they control, this country is going to be in very serious trouble. And, Senator, when you go around the country and you talk just like this to, to crowds, well, how do they respond? What can I tell you? I mean, I think the, the overwhelming majority of the American people support an agenda that protects working families and the middle class and not millionaires and billionaires. And do the Southern whatever... surprise you a little bit? No. I, you know, it, it, I don't. I think if we have my concern always about Democrats is they are not tough enough, not strong enough in standing up for working families and in taking on big money and trust. Frankly, you're going to find a lot of people in the Tea Party. It's not just Occupy Wall Street, in the Tea Party who understand yeah. that the rich are getting richer at the expense of everybody else. We need to talk those issues. So we have seen an attack on labor for the last 35 years in this country. We've seen outsourcing at a torrid pace. We've seen trade agreements that we can't do a reversal on. And we see this oligarchy movement taking place. Elections being bought. I was just down in Florida yesterday. It's amazing how much money was thrown at a Republican primary. Have any Republicans stood up against the Koch brothers and even sounded the alarm in any stretch of the imagination that this is a scary trend for America's economy? I mean, it, some may have it. I, I can't say that definitively. I, I've just not heard I mean, we never hear them talk has. about the middle class. We never hear them talking right. about America's great. They, they just rip on the president and the Democrats for jobs, but they never talk about the economic engine and exactly what is happening to American families. Look, they're on a gravy train right now. You know, Ed, if, if you're a Republican out there and you know that you got the Koch brothers who are prepared to spend literally as much as they need to, these guys saw their wealth increase by 12 billion last year. What is a couple of billion dollars for Senate? 
and House races and a presidential race. It is nothing to them. Yeah. So if you are a Republican and you're going to be a beneficiary of that money, are you going to criticize it? What we have seen, by the way, to the contrary, is people coming to the floor talking about how good the Koch brothers are. This has to be the narratives, the narrative for whoever is going to run in 2016. And this is the vital issue. And if the Democrats can't have a big turnout now, I don't know when they can have it. I, I, I have a sense that there is going to be a big uh, uh, off-year midterm election turnout. I, I feel very confident about that. And I want your, well, close, Ed, your closing comment on that. This is not just, you're absolutely right, this is the political issue of the time. But this is the future of America. Do you really want to live in a country where a handful of billionaires control our economy and our political life while the middle class disappears? That is the question of our time. We have got to stand up and fight back. Senator Bernie Sanders, great to have you with us on The Ed Show, sir. Thanks so much.